it's Devin. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video over all of the pregnancy must-haves that I believe will help you throughout your entire pregnancy and will make you feel overall more comfortable and content. The first thing that I have is going to be prenatals. I took prenatals just because my doctor suggested it and it's something that is good for you and baby so it's always good to just go to a local health store or Walmart, Target, really any grocery store or like Walgreens or something that carries medicine um, will have prenatals. You can even ask. I think doctors can give you a prescription to pick up for prenatals. But taking prenatals is something that your doctor suggests. The next thing that I have for a pregnancy must have is going to be a lot of comfy clothes. I wore probably leggings and t-shirts most of my first and second trimester because I wasn't too big but when you start to get bigger you're going to want to get maternity clothes. I had probably two pairs of maternity, I think I had two pairs of maternity jeans and um, a few maternity shirts but I also just wore a bunch of loose sweaters and loose t-shirts stuff like that as maternity shirts um, just bought them in bigger sizes. I got all of my maternity clothes from motherhood. Uh, I got some of them for Christmas but a few of them I actually bought with my mom when we went in once. Another thing that I have for a must-have is a pregnancy pillow. I got one for Christmas when I started to get bigger. That was one thing that I had on my wish list was a pregnancy pillow and I don't have it out but it was basically a huge C and you lay on it and your stomach goes in the gap in between the two ends of the C and it was really comfortable. The hardest thing when you get super fat and super big is getting comfortable in bed. It is the hardest thing to sleep because you are either in pain or you're uncomfortable or both. So having that pillow really helped me because if I was uncomfortable, I would just use the pillow and lay on it a certain way. Sometimes I would even have to put a pillow on the side of my bump that I was laying on to kind of push it up because when you lay on your side, you're, it falls. The one that I had, I got for Christmas. I believe my mom ordered it off of Amazon. You can just search pregnancy pillow and it'll come up. Mine was the shape of a C, so it just looked like this. And you would put your bump in between where the two ends of the C go together. And that was really the main thing. And you really are just never comfortable. Um, and the hardest thing to do is sleep when you're uncomfortable. So that pillow really helped when I was bigger. Another thing that you're gonna want to need while you use that pillow is an extra thinner pillow or um, some sort of wedge to put on the side of your belly that you're laying on because when you lay on your side your belly kind of falls and it's not comfortable at all so having a pillow there to kind of prop it up and hold it in the spot that you want it in helps another thing that you're going to want to always have on handy is a heating pad or um, the things with rice in them that you can heat up. For me, the biggest part that I had pain was in my hips. Definitely when I started to get way closer to my due date, I had the worst pain in my hips. It just felt like someone was ripping my hips apart, like there was handles on my hips and they were just pulling and it hurt so bad. And I would take medicine for it, I would do warm baths, I would use a heating pad. I tried everything I could and having the heat helped a lot couldn't sleep on it all night but I would kind of turn it on and have it on a 15 minute setting just long enough for me to fall asleep and to help relieve some of that pain. Having a heating pad or something warm, a warm pack or something to use for any type of pain, you know, hip pain, back pain, um, even like shoulder or neck pain, you really don't want any pain while you're already so uncomfortable. Having pain on top of it is probably the most frustrating thing. I know it was frustrating for me so I always made sure that I found a way to get rid of my pain as quick as I could and as easily as I could. Another thing that you're going to want is a Yeti cup or just a water bottle, um, preferably one that keeps your water cold. I know with me, my biggest thing was I wanted water and or ice all the time. I would eat ice all the time. I would go to Sonic and get a large cup of ice and just eat it throughout the day. That's how much I craved ice when I was pregnant. And I also really craved water. Every time I wanted a drink, I wanted water. I would find myself at times in the day and I'd be like, oh, I just really want some water. So I eventually just started carrying around a Yeti cup. 
or I always had a drink with me that I could drink. It was always usually water or ice. I hardly drank any sodas throughout my pregnancy just because I always wanted water. I never felt like I had too much water. It's also really good that you crave water. If you do while you're pregnant, it's really good because it helps keep you hydrated instead of, you know, drinking Cokes or teas or all this sweet stuff that's not good for you. So I always just had a Yeti on hand to make sure that I had water with me pretty much everywhere I went. That way if I was somewhere I couldn't get water, I already had my water with me. Okay guys, I believe that's all that I have for my pregnancy must have videos. If I think of any more, I will put them down in the descriptions. But I believe that's really all I had. I had a really easy pregnancy so I really didn't need a lot of things to help me feel comfortable or to help with morning sickness or anything like that. But if I think of any more that aren't in this video, I will put them in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching.